night, got the wagon jacked up, started looking at it, trying to figure out a game plan. I don't know where to start because there's stuff we got to do everywhere. We got to worry about suspension, brakes, motor, transmission, steering column. Man, it's quite a bit of, <laughs> it's going to be a long list. And honestly, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I could just start working. It looks like the motor is not even set in there. Oh yeah, look. The motor mounts ain't even set in there. The motor just in there. Oh hell. I don't know if it's a good motor or not. I don't know if it's locked up. I know the transmission was hidden. I got the front up on jack stands, the back is sitting on there. Oh hell, I need to move that hood. Hopefully it don't dent that roof. That little damage we had, it ain't much. And I've been looking at all the parts, trying to make, make uh, see what I was, where I'll start with. I did open the airbag box. All right, we got all the cups and brackets. Those are the airbags. I think he even got fittings maybe, like the Schrader valves. We might slap them in right now. And then he got all types of stuff we really gotta go through. I gotta clean this thing up. Ooh, I don't know guys, let me think about it, see where I'll start. Maybe I'll start suspension since it's like right there. Actually, you need to figure out if this motor's any good before I even set that in there. It used to be good, obviously, at one point. Maybe I'm gonna just crank it on right there like that before we even bolt it down. Scratching at the surface, seeing what we got. I already don't like what we got. We got a uh, busted stud right there for that manifold. And we're gonna have to cut that transmission hump on the inside to get this motor to go up level before we could even put the motor mounts where they're gonna be. If you see the motors in there cooking, it's just in there. Nothing's holding it, nothing. And it's it's sitting on the cross member and the frame, but it's wedged up against the floorboard, so we gotta cut the floorboard. And then on the suspension, I don't know what I'm looking at, to be honest with you. It looks like something's missing right there. Cause that's my steering. What is connects right there? Where does it connect to? I don't know. I might have to go look at another Impala. But also this motor ain't been turned on in a while. I think I'm gonna have to put some oil in it and some oil in the cylinders. Before I modify this to sit in there, I gotta make sure this motor's good. If this motor ain't no good, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with a different game plan. Shit, and to be honest with you, it'd probably be easier if I just take it out, make sure it's running outside. Before I even go in to go chop the, uh, chopping and trying to get the motor mounts right. I don't know yet. But you know what? I might throw the bags in the front. Cause it ain't even got no springs, nothing. That's why it's sitting all the way to the floor. You know what, let's see if I can throw them bags. Try to do something. Shit, check out the badass suspension it had. <laughs> Ooh, that bar joint just don't want to pop off. I'm beating the shit out of it. Ooh, see, since 61 probably. I don't, I don't think that thing's ever been changed. Next day. I couldn't get them bolts off and I couldn't pop that bar joint. So yesterday when I went home, I found my bar joint popper. And then I discovered that our core support is trash. We're going to have to find a core support. The more and the more I look at it, man, god dang. Everywhere is, is stuff we got to buy or stuff we got to do. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of intimidated by this project. I ain't even gonna fuck with y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Hey, but hey, 
We already got it in here. I might as well try to do something. I'm also scared of all the money I'm finna spend. I thought he had, well, no, he bought a lot of parts, but the thing is, little things gonna will kill me. So, tallying up, I need a thousand dollars on nothing, like a whole bunch of parts that, you know, like I need motor mounts, the original Impala style ones. I need brakes, brake lines, like, oh my God, just basic shit is gonna, to get this, I have a carburetor, but, Exhaust, drive shaft, golly, like there's still a, a gang of parts that need to be bought uh, in order for this to be running and driving. Of course, we weren't going to go full show or anything, but I was hoping to get it running and driving. So I'm not sure. I guess I'm going to just keep going, uh, chipping away at it. I got the airbags out. So I think that's what I'm going to work on today is... Uh, set them airbags in the front also air management yeah we got the airbags in line but we ain't got no valves we ain't got nothing so god I really ain't want to spend no money on this all my little money should be going into the convertible or the box so I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly how to go about this so I guess I'm gonna just keep wrenching Myself. If I want to be a car builder, I'm gonna be, I, I should at least be able to keep this whole running. Drive. Do I want to is the question. <laughs> the reason I took off the front end, there wasn't that many bolts holding it out anyways. As y'all can see, that was rusted through. Uh, and it's going to be a lot easier to mess with the suspension and the motor without this front end. It does look a little bit intimidating. Uh, I'm not gonna fix the AC or the heater. You know what, I'm gonna take this box off uh, just to get it out the way. The next man can put Vintage Air or go back to the original. I'm not even gonna try to mess with the AC. So you know what, I'm gonna knock this thing out. Take that thing out, get it out of my way so I can start messing with these A-arms again. All right, I'm gonna go save that. I'm not, for hey, you need that to fix the AC. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just, uh gonna leave it like that and I'll save that for whoever wants to buy the car I'll give it to him actually I like the little a. I like their their letters the old school it just looks old school like from the 60s boy I fucking tell you boy that ball joint was stuck from hell I had to beat that hole beat that hole I took a break beat it Woo! popped it up though popped it off Woo. All right, I'm checking how it's gonna go. I guess I'm gonna have to drill some holes. These might be both, there it goes. Okay, so these holes might actually line up to this. I wasn't gonna clean shit, but damn, let me clean a little bit of this off real quick. I took that bump stop off. Uh, and it looks like the holes definitely line up to it. I ain't never did one of these bolts on kits on the, on the X-Frame. Look like I'm gonna have to drill a hole there, drill a hole there, and then I'm assuming that's the bag uh, where the bag bolts on to. Okay. Man, I was gonna take the brake line off to give us some more, relieve some of the pressure. That shit busted. That shit old. And then I'm gonna have to cut this sway bar link because we're gonna have to drill some holes, let that A arm go all the way down. You 
might not want to touch that. <laughs> Got a hose made. I ain't even marketing nothing. I left it right there. Boom, 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 boom. I just went through that hole. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take it off to bolt up the uh, bag. But... Uh, let me see how that top one goes. And then I'll take this off. Alright, I ain't got no instructions, but I'm assuming this is the top cup. Came with a nut and a washer. But I put it in there and I'm assuming it goes like this to follow the contour of the frame. Uh, I put the bolt through. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know if this hole's messed up or what. That hole don't look too clean. We just gotta gonna have to make it bigger to put it in there. Give it a little persuasion. Might be enough. You dirty bitch is not enough. We need a little bit more. <laughs> the jokes to pull up, get a quick rotation, get a few more drives out them tires. He said he gonna go wash it, but he he says it's too hot. Hot as fuck. <laughs> but he getting it ready for the next pullout. Yes, sir. All right, got the hole big enough. So I guess now I'm going to pull that one up so I can bolt the bracket to the bottom one first. Yeah, right. And then I'll put everything in at once, hopefully. Alright, slap my fitting on. Now, trying to, now I'm trying to assemble this. Oh, shit. Try to get this thing assembled so I can try to slap it up in there. Had a little bit of energy. Ate dinner, cooled off, came back to the shop. I said, man, fuck it, I'm kind of motivated to try to get at least this side done tonight. So I drilled another hole because where's the hose going to go through? I'm not sure. I ain't, I'm doing this straight on, no instructions. I don't know if I should have went on this side or that side, but oh well. Let's see how that works out. Got that thing bolted up. Got that line ran through, it ain't the best, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna jack it up. Look like we're gonna have clearance, good clearance. Hopefully, let's jack her up. As far as the bag hitting on the frame, is what I'm saying, there it goes. Let's check it out, let's check it out. Uh, the cup is almost at the top. Not quite. <coughs> <laughs> but oh it looks like we got plenty of space I could almost fit my whole hand in there I think we're gonna be all right tighten up my a arm so I could put everything back together right damn dog this boat is hitting this this uh this bar I don't know if it's focusing right but I'm going to have to cut this. That's not a problem, but look, I know I'm going to cut this goddamn line. And the problem if I cut this line, we got to take this whole thing off so I can put, put it back. <laughs> so let me see if I can cut this without cutting the line. Because I still haven't tightened this side up, and it's already hidden. All right, we got it fully assembled. That's, I think, all the way low. I was trying to see if I was going to have clearance. I think I'd be all right. Nah, I'm going to put a little grommet right there. Grommet, whatever you want to call it. I know that's going to eventually cut the line. Maybe make the hole a little bigger. But for right now, that's good. Let's go and do this side. We ain't touched this side. Let's copy this side. And then try to get it on the floor and see what it looks like. A little time here at the shop. It's a little slow. Uh, man, I try to pop this bar joint. That motherfucker's on there, just like the side. So I took a break and uh, took off the gearbox and all that power steering stuff. It was, if you could see, this hole was bent. That's 
that why that's why it was locked up. I took all that off. At least now I could turn the wheels. Obviously, uh, we need to fix the steering. But then that way I can start looking for these parts. I already know. And that way I could at least kick the wheels and they'll turn. Uh, yeah, this shit's just kind of hanging. But you can still turn it. Make it turn. Uh, we will figure out. I might. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not too familiar with it. But my 59 had manual steering. Maybe I could just put a manual one and don't even worry about putting a power steering pump on the motor. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. Uh, I'm going to go to lunch come back and tackle the airbags on the other side but we're making a little progress shit that fucking ball joint would not fucking pop i had to put some heat on that hoe and i had my little torch still a little plumber's torch fucked up the boot on the ball joint but god damn that bitch was stuck got this side all buttoned up so I guess uh, man you know what let me put the wheels on it let's see let's see it on the ground with all the weight on it make sure nothing shifts and all that but hell yeah I think it's cheap I don't know if that's the best placement for the uh, hoses yet but we're gonna just leave them for right now Hell yeah. Yeah, let's get it on the ground. Slap the wheels back on there. It's still on the jack stands. And we got no uh, air, air management, but we do got an air hose. So we are gonna practice, see, practice, practice. We're gonna see if it actually works on the ground. So let me jack this thing up, get it up off them jack stands. I think this little baby jack ain't gonna be enough. Let me go get the big daddy jack. Oh shit, the jack, did the jack get stuck? Yeah. Ah. Well. Let me get this jack unstuck. Oh, we'll just bring the baby jack to try to help us out. Oh shit. I really need a lift, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If I keep doing this bullshit, I need to invest in a lift. Now let's see if this hole. Uh oh. Damn, now that bitch stuck right there too. Shit. Are we sitting low, looking good. God damn, let me see how we gonna un 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 unstuck this jack. Oh, I'll lift the frame. Actually, I don't even think we measured it before. We couldn't actually. Damn, that bitch sitting low. guys so we're gonna end this video here on that 61 parkwood project uh got tons of boxes to look through see what else we could pop on Woo! next maybe the wheels now nah, actually next is the steering y'all we got the front airbags done well at least just the uh suspension part 
We don't know what we're gonna do for air management. Oh, I still gotta trim that bolt too. It's hitting that little thing. Uh, but now, you know, at least we can fill it up, roll it around. Next thing is steering. So I gotta figure out whether I gotta, I can rebuild that, replace it, change it up. I don't know, I'm gonna ask a few questions, do a little research. Next video, we're worrying about steering. So I think that's it, yeah. Next thing, steering and air management whether i put a straighter valve or, or electric valve or what uh figure that out but hell yeah dog the project has gotten started it's definitely a lot more than probably i could handle it right now but man if i really want to do this shit, i should be able to get this hoe running but uh hell yeah let me know what y'all think in the comments appreciate y'all watching catch us on the next one